Ben and Ashley here, back again. And in today's video, what we're going to be sharing is things we've learned from medical medium in 2019 that we didn't know in 2018 that we want to continue to know in 2020. <laughs> yeah, and our hope is that you take something from this video that helps you along with your healing journey. So be sure to check him out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all those social media platforms. He has tons of great information. All right, let's get started. Let's dig into some of this juicy medical medium <laughs> juicy. information. <laughs> In 2018, Anthony, he came out with his liver book. It's called Liver Rescue. And the book's like, that thick. It's a thick book, but it's packed with great healing information. So we got a chance to use a lot of that in 2019. And we didn't really understand the liver and its functions and how it worked. And it, the liver essentially is the filter for everything. So if the, the liver has problems, then the rest of the body could have problems. And so when we when I got diagnosed with Epstein-Barr uh, five years ago, I guess we didn't really understand what, what the liver played in this, in this, this whole equation. Yeah. The biggest takeaway from the Liver Rescue book was that we needed to take better care of our livers, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> like we were doing this super healthy diet, but there was also ways of how we could further cleanse our liver. and speed up the healing process. Not only that, but cleansing the liver the natural way, which is fruits, veggies, wild foods, and herbs. Yeah, definitely. So we'll talk about a handful of the ways that we cleansed our liver in 2019. So the first one would be doing the 369 Liver Rescue Cleanse that Anthony lays out in his Liver Rescue book. This cleanse is a safe cleanse for your liver and what it does is it, it collects toxins during the cleanse and then safely releases them at the very end. And he lays out these very specific foods. It's all fruits, veggies, you don't go hungry, you're eating tons of nutritional food, but it's done with specific foods that help cleanse your liver. And it's not just cleansing, there's foods in there to help support your liver. Yes. So during the cleansing process, you have things thrown in there that will give it the support it needs to function and detox, plus handle all these additional things you're throwing at it during that nine day, yep. nine day course. Yep. And so that's something we did maybe three to four times yep. in 2019. The next thing we, we had to do was we eliminated fats <laughs> before dinner time. And, and this was a hard one. And what we've learned is you don't need fat before dinner time and your body actually works better. And you have more energy throughout the day because the fat bogs you down. Yeah, and so fat for our type of diet is like nuts, seeds, oils, avocado, all healthy fats. But the thing is, your liver, once you incorporate fat in the day, your liver has to switch how it's processing and then it stops the detox. So the reason that we kept fats till out of our diet until dinner time was so we could allow the detox to kind of continue throughout the day because it starts, you know, from the morning with your lemon water and then you keep it going with fruits, veggies, all that good stuff and then leaving fats till dinner time and then that's when you can kind of slow down the detox. Something else that we incorporated in 2019 to help protect our livers was to avoid toxins as much as possible. So toxins could include anything from perfumes, things that are scented with a fragrance, um, campfire smoke is toxic, uh, household cleaners that aren't natural, uh, carpet cleaners are even highly toxic. Your clothes, your clothes are sprayed and typically uh, parks, you know, if you go to parks a lot, a lot of parks get sprayed and 
And you've got golf courses too. I like to golf a lot. And I always have to call and make sure that the course hadn't been sprayed within so much time so yeah. I can get out there and play. And there's a lot of things you have to avoid yeah. that you don't really take into account. You don't think these things are a problem until you actually <laughs> learn why they're a problem. Yeah. Gasoline. That's another one. Yeah. It's toxic. I know obviously we have to fill up our, our gas tanks, but there's ways to um, you know, limit your exposure to that. Alright, so another thing that we learned in 2019 was that there's this whole other side of healing that that we just had to tap into to, to get access and and what that is is the spiritual healing you know, Anthony really opened up our eyes to the idea that there's more that is going on beyond what we can see here on this earth yeah. And so what we've been able to do is, is tap into that side of healing. And how we've been able to do that is praying to God and praying to the angels. And these angels, we had no idea that there were angels that we had access to, that we could be praying to, that could heal, help heal different, different things we have going on in our, in our lives. And when I was really, really, really sick, I had, I had no idea what was going on. I thought I was dying, and who else to turn to but God? So another thing that is part of the spiritual healing is getting in nature, right? We take it for granted. We all work these desk jobs or these nine to five jobs and yeah. we're in an office all day and we never get to get out into nature and really enjoy it. So this summer, uh, I had an opportunity to spend the summer up at uh, our family property up at like the, the tip of California, <laughs> far, the farthest north of California you can go. and. So we spent some time up there planting fruit trees and berry bushes and wild herbs and got to enjoy a lot of walks on, on the beach and sunsets and, and the, the waves going in and out and the healing that comes along with that and the hummingbirds and the bees buzzing around. It was, it was really a, a healing place for the summer. Yeah. Uh, I've learned a lot too. It's also a place where, you know, there's little to no pollution, no airplanes flying overhead, no Wi-Fi, no cell phone. So it's truly a relaxing and healing place and you're away from that day-to-day -day hustle and bustle um, where you can just kind of clear your mind too. So another major healing piece to 2019 was when Anthony came out with his celery juice book. A book all about celery juice. Yeah, and it was like nine months after he came out with a book that thick, you know, the, yeah. the liver, the liver book. He comes out with a celery book. I mean, they're both great books, packed with great info, and uh, we started incorporating from the celery, the celery book, the double celery, doing it twice a day. And we've been doing that six months and we've noticed a huge difference in the energy levels throughout the day by doing that. So yeah. um, we're going to do a video uh, on that in 2020. So <laughs> look forward to that. <laughs> and from that we got a new juicer. Mm -hmm. Our other juicer just couldn't handle that much volume of celery juice on a daily basis. Kind of wore it out a little bit <laughs> um, and so we got a new juicer that works great specifically for celery juice and we can't forget to mention all of the wonderful recipes that we got in 2019 lots of healing recipes right lots of healing recipes we've tried new vegetables we've got to try plenty of new fruits that 
that we didn't even know existed in yeah. 2018. <laughs> so yeah, uh, a lot of new things. Yeah, we tried a couple new squashes that have been a really great addition to our dinners, right? Like the delicata, the buttercup. Buttercup. We didn't yep. even know the like had never had those before. Uh -huh. We you know we've had pomegranates, but we incorporated more of them and cranberries because we know they're so healing. So things you know things that we like didn't have as much, we have been incorporating more because it's really great to take advantage of their healing properties. So 2019, I'd say was like the biggest breakthrough year we've had yet. Would you agree? Yes. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> I'd say like 2018, we were, you know, we were starting to lessen some of the symptoms and 2017, we were just getting started with all of this and still learning. In 2019, it's been like our breakthrough year. You know, we've, we've really got this, the, the protocols down, we're doing everything right, we're staying away from all those toxic things, and we're, we're seeing the results. And the only thing that I really experience today is uh, symptoms that come and go, but they're usually triggered by something, you know? Whether that's me going out in public and someone wearing that strong perfume, or uh, lighting a scented candle that's got some some smell to it, some perfume on it, or someone's got a new shirt and they're they're standing in line next to me at a grocery store. You know, it's stuff like that 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 triggers the symptoms, but the symptoms aren't there following me around all day, every day, like they were. And for me, while I was never chronically ill like Ben, I've learned a lot about my body through this whole healing journey and process. So when we started the medical medium protocols and changing our diet, I actually started to see symptoms take place. So I started getting acne, I started to um, have a little bit more fatigue. Um, and I started to get actually a little bloating in 2019. So most people might actually be really discouraged by this lifestyle and this diet if it's causing these symptoms. But since we knew so much information from Anthony, I knew that it was actually detox and that there was something deeper going on inside my body that it was fighting. So since starting this in early 2017, my acne has lessened. It kind of like comes and goes, comes and goes, but every time it does lessen. So I know eventually that I can completely clear that completely. Mm -hmm. The fatigue is definitely getting better and I've just learned that that's definitely a detox symptom and doing the double celery juice has helped that by far. Mm -hmm. And then the bloating, that's something that's kind of a big one right now for me. That's kind of come and go all throughout 2019. And what we've learned is that that's a big thing with the liver. So when you're detoxing your liver, you get a lot of bloating. So I just know that that's a sign that my liver is detoxing and that eventually that will go away as well. Right, so let's talk about what's to come in 2020. More YouTube videos and Instagram posts. We're going to talk more about medical medium information, medical medium approved recipes, food planning. Yeah, supplements. We'll share a lot of the supplements that, that we take. And then lastly, you know, what book is Anthony got up his sleeve right now? We're trying to figure it out, but we know there's a new book coming. And so that always, uh, that always adds uh, extra to, you know, to a new year too. So we look forward to that and look forward to all the great information that comes along with that. We're going to continue on with the medical medium protocols pretty much the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. Continuing with that and then uh, low fats, so keeping our fats low and saving that for dinner time. And then the celery juice, we're going to do that twice a day. Mm -hmm. We've been doing that about six months strong now. Yep, yep. And then we're going to do more leafy greens. 
So we have always incorporated leafy greens, but we want to incorporate more and a variety. Yeah, so like different types of greens like mache and watercress. Watercress is a good one. Dandelion. Dandelion's a good one. Mm -hmm. Sorrel, you know, beet greens, there's stuff like that that didn't really think to eat. <laughs> now we're gonna we're gonna give it a try in 2020. And with 2020 rolling right along here, <laughs> we've got some other exciting changes that is to come in 2020. I think we'll continue to help anybody who reaches out to us and needs the help. You know, we are so thankful for Anthony William and all of this wonderful information and what yeah. we've been able to accomplish using it that we, we want to help others, so we'll continue to, to, to keep doing that. And with that said, we do have some other exciting changes in the works that we can't quite share with you yet, um, but stay tuned as we will unravel that and share that with you in the coming months. Definitely. We look forward to an exciting 2020 and sharing lots of more healing information with you guys. We'll see you next time. See ya. We'll see you next time. Let's do it again. Toodles. <laughs> <laughs>